say we're unpatriotic. I simply reply this. I was asked a question in the last election by the Daily Mail. Mr. Corbyn, you're not patriotic, are you? I said, well, it's not a very good question. You ought to ask me if I am patriotic. Or not. <laughs> um, and I said, yes, I'm very patriotic, actually. Extremely patriotic. Prove it, how? <laughs> I said, my patriotism is not leaving a fellow citizen sleeping in the streets, homeless and hungry, children going hungry, young people sent to war, they shouldn't be sent to. It is about solidarity and protection and support. You're, you're very kind. I, I promised you I'd be on time, and now I'm not. i just finished with this. Last year, the killing of George Floyd, the growth of Black Lives Matters, and the development of a global anti-racist movement changed an awful lot of people's opinions and mind. People under oppression the world over saw in themselves the way in which black people in the United States had been treated. And they saw in themselves the hope for something better. So, two days after this latest Cold War has been announced against China, with uh, nuclear submarines of Australia, Britain, and the USA in the South China Sea, that's going to be an arms race bonanza for the arms companies of Britain, France, and the United States. It's going to be a bonanza for those that manufacture arms in China and in Russia. We're into some crazy world where we're increasing armament at a time when we should be getting over COVID, protecting the environment, getting over global inequality, <laughs> providing water, sanitation, and healthcare for all. And so our answer to this is learn the lessons, the hard lessons of not always being able to stop the conflict we tried to stop, but learn the lessons that we can stop the next one and mobilize people like never before against this new Cold War, against this rearmament, against injustice and inequality, but above all, on a global sense, an anti-racist sense, an anti-imperialist sense, and above all, give people hope and space, because hope and space is what will bring about real change in this world. Thank you very much.